Mark 75 years now of the FibArc Festival in Salida. Over the years, it's grown into a major event, attracting the world's best kayakers. Bill Folsom in Salida today for the kickoff. This is one of the granddaddy events of Whitewater Celebrations. It is a festival, but at the foundation of this is some very serious competition. The rush of the Arkansas River requires respect. Oh, got another competitor. This eight-year-old from North Carolina is not intimidated. I mostly just don't want to flip because I don't know how to roll yet. An up-and-comer in freestyle kayaking. It's just a fun sport. First place. He's sharing the river with paddlers who are the best of the best. We've got Emily Jackson, multiple world champion. Nick Troutman, world champion from Canada. Fierce competitors who, for the most part, are also more than willing to give advice, explain the sport, and offer some help along the river. Yeah, look at this. We've got Tomas from Poland, bronze medalist currently, I believe, chasing someone's surfboard who he's never met. That's kayaking. Salida and the Fib Arc offer world class competition on a river course with a world class reputation. When the levels are right, uh, you'll see the highest scores in the world uh, from this hole right here. It's a really big deal for us this year. This is the Colorado Cup Finals here in Salida, Colorado. There's also the silly side of Salida with things like the hooligan race on the river. Try to make it through the play hole on anything but a raft. There's no charge for fans. The oldest whitewater festival in the entire country. Watch from the river's edge or wander Salida's river walk to enjoy music, food, and other events. A big goal of the festival is for it to appeal to the entire community, regardless if you're a river person or not. Competitors tell us last year the river was down. This year it is up pretty high. That changes from year to year. It also changes day to day, which means if you've seen this competition before, it's never the same. In Slida, Bill Folsom, News 5.